do know that inside of our shoe insoles we must have this small detail steel shanks now in this shoe making tutorial i will teach you where to place it because it's very important and how to change the shape of this steel shanks don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out so let's get started learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses Most of beginners get confused where to place steel shank inside of the insole, how to place it, how to change the shape of the steel shank. And right now in this tutorial I will talk about it. So first of all, may, maybe many of you ask yourself what is the steel shank and why we need it. So we put the steel shank inside of our insoles between shank board, Texan board or leather layers if you make your insoles from leather because it gives a good support to the weight of our body. It's super important when you make shoes with heels because without the steel shank your insole will bend out of pressure of the body. For example, this insole has steel shank and when I place heels and will press it will it will never change the shape it stays firm that's why we place steel shank inside of the insoles and i can i suggest to place steel shanks even in the shoes with low heels because it still gives a good support to the arc zone of your feet okay now where to place steel shank inside of the insoles and how to place it it has these two edges and we place this edge close to the heel edge of our shoelace, where we have this kind of folk edge. Why? Because here in this area, we uh, will place our insole to the shoelace. And to, to put the nail through the insole, you must have space without steel shank so the nail gets through the insole and you put it inside of the shoe last. But it's even more important when you will place a screw through insole to attach your heels. So that's why we use this part of the steel shank. Now what is the right place? Because it needs to give us a good support to the arc zone, you don't you can't put it far away from the edge because he will be healed. So it must be on the half of the width of your heel. And it's approximately in the distance of 3 centimeters from the edge of the shoe last. 2.53 centimeters. So you need to measure on your insole 3 centimeters from the edge, 3 centimeters from the edge, and mark point here in the center of this area. If you will look on the bottom of the insole, it will look like this. Three centimeters from the edge of the insole, and actually it's the edge of the shoe last, mark point, and it must be in the center of your insole here. So in this place, the center of this fork will match the cent the, this point on the shoe last on the insole, okay? And then through the insole you will place the screw and you have here enough space to place the screw through the steel shank. If it will be like this, you will never be able to place here a screw, okay? So after you will find this point, mark where must be sh steel shank and it must lay in the middle of this area of your back part and middle part of your insole and attach it. Now, in my shoemaking tools kit that comes together with the shoemaking program, I have this type of steel shanks that has this curved shape and most of the steel shanks has, uh, have this curved shape. So why is it? Because when it's curved, it's perfectly suits to the shoe last with high heel. You don't need to work here too much. It's already matched 
the shape of our shoe last. And it's much easier to flatten the steel shank to uh, th that the steel shank will suit for the shoe last with high uh, with low heel than to bend it. Okay, so that's why it comes already with this curved shape that suits perfectly for the shoe last with high heel. Now, for the shoe last with low heel, as I told you, it doesn't suit, but it's much easier to flatten it, as I mentioned before. So how to flatten the steel shanks that has this curved shape? You need to turn over it and place it like this. And now, with few steps, working with your hammer, we will flatten it. You start to, to hit just a little bit in the beginning. Because maybe you will not have the wedge of the shoe last with not such a curved area, okay? I have here in this shoe last and not so flat like I have in the shoe last. That's why do it by steps, as I did. Hit a few times and then check if, if, if it's match the shoe last. You see, it's already much better than it, it was before. But I need to continue with the hitting because it uh, still doesn't fit my shoe last shape. So I continue with hitting. Again, I have, I have here a gap, so I need to hit even more. You see, now it becomes flat, and as you see, it now it suits perfectly the shoe last shape. Okay. So do it by steps to not flatten it too much each time check it so follow exact steps that I showed right now in this tutorial. So now you know how to create insoles with good support working with steel shanks. You know that shoemaking is very detailed process that consists of many tiny steps. So if you have some question, some problem that you struggle with, please comment below this video. And see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.